Hello, thank you for watching this video. So, this is my last video on trigonometry uh, on this question paper. So, this is November 2020 question paper, Mathematics Paper 2. So, this is the application of some trigonometry or trigonometry rules. I don't know. So, I'm going to do question 7. Uh, like I always do, I always display. You can see the diagram, the question paper, so that you can bring. You can read with me. Or, uh, yeah. So, question 7. A landscape artist plans to plant flowers within two concentric circles around a vertical light pole, PQ. R is the point on the inner circle, and S is the point on the outer circle. R, Q, and S lie on the same horizontal plane. Uh, R, S is the pipe used for the irrigation system in the garden. The radius of the inner circle is R units and the radius of the outer circle is QS. The angle of elevation from P from S to P is 30 degrees and the angle Q on the triangle R Q S is 2x and the height of the pole uh, of the pole light PQ is square root 3R. So let me read read again. A landscape artist plans to plant flowers within two concentric circles around a vertical light pole. Okay. Which is our light pole is PQ. R is the point on the inner circle. And P and S is the point on the outer circle. R, Q and S lie, lie in the same horizontal plane. R, S is the pipe used for the irrigation system in the garden. The radius of the inner circle is R units, the radius of the outer circle is QS, and the angle of elevation from S to P is 30 degrees, and the angle Q of the triangle RQS is 2X, and PQ is square root 3R. So with this diagram here, so I'm going to try to explain it a bit if it's unclear from the statement. So a landscape artist plans to plan uh, flowers within two concentric circles. So our landscape artists want to plant flowers between these two circles, which is on this uh, area here, on this shaded area here, between this circle and this circle there. That's what our landscape artists are planning to do. Um, so a landscape artist plans to plant two flowers within two concentric circles around a vertical light pole PQ. So this is our vertical light pole PQ. So uh, you, as you can see, so here is it, our light pole, vertical light pole PQ, and the concentric circles are around this pole of ours. Straightforward. R is the point on the inner circle. Uh, so R is the point on the inner circle. You can see here is your inner circle, and there is your R there. S is the point on the outer circle. So S, here is S, is on the point on this outer circle here. No problem. So we are told that R, Q, and S, R, Q, and S lie in the same horizontal plane, which means they are on the same plane, which means if this is horizontal, they are all on that horizontal plane. That's what they are telling you. No problem. R, S is a pipe used for the irrigation system in the garden. So this line here, R, S, is, in, is used for the irrigation system. It's also in the same plane. Is those so this is you see no problem the radius of the inner circle is r units so from the center uh, from our light pole which is in the center to our uh, inner circle anywhere in our inner circle the radius is r so we can move from here there this this whatever so the radius from the center of our inner circle to um, uh, to, uh, to its circumference the radius is r and the radius of the outer circle is QS. So the radius from our center to the outer circle is QS. You can see Q, you can see it S. No problem. The angle of elevation between uh, QS and um, PS is 30 degrees. So this angle here is 30 degrees, as you can see. Uh, and the angle Q, which is that angle Q, of the triangle RQS is 2X. And PQ, which is our vertical light pole, is square root, square root 3R. 
That is the strand. So now let's answer the question that follow. Show that QS is equal to 3R. So they want us to show, this is 7.1, show that QS is equal to what? 3R. This is what they wanted to show. Where is QS? QS is this radius here, right? So QS is our radius. So they wanted to show that uh, the, the radius QS is three times R. So now, if you look at this, you have, so when you're working with these three-dimensional drawings or diagrams, I would say it is easier to look at them separately. So you must see what, what you're working with. So, so they want to find this. So if you take a look here, your QS is within um, two triangles. So you can see that your QS is on this triangle, on the base here, which is this triangle. So X, you have Q, you have R, you have S. So this is the so you have R here. This is what this is the triangle that is at the base. So we need to look at this triangle separately. So this is the triangle at the base, which is this is this triangle at the base here. So if you want QS, which is this one here, we don't have much information to find the value of QS on this triangle. So this triangle does not help us. So where else is QS involved? So here is QS. So QS is also involved in this triangle. So let's draw the triangle separately. So if we draw it, we can say, okay, it's this vertical height here. So here is it, the vertical height. And this one here, that there, 90 degrees here. And then this one there, and the slant height here, right? So if you look at it, this is your Q, there's your Q. This is your S, here's your S, and this is your P, here's your P. This is your root 3R, root 3R, and you have the angle 30 degrees. So, QS, which is the side, which is the same as that one, is in, within these two times that are in two planes, right? So, but this one does not have enough information to do anything. This one, is better because you can see you have your height there, it's a right angle triangle and you have an angle. So you want this side. This is what you want. So you can say, okay, I have this angle, I have the opposite side, I want what? The adjacent side. So you can use the trick function, uh, tan, tan theta, the trig ratio, which is equal to your opposite side, which is PQ, over your adjacent side, which is QS, which is equal to, PQ is equal to root 3R over, um, okay. So this is what you have. So you know your theta. So the tan theta is tan 30 degrees, which is equal to what? PQ, what is your PQ? So your root 3R divided by QS, which is your, divided by your QS, which is QS, which is what you want to find. So now, you are punching tan theta, tan theta degrees. So, uh, let me get my calculator. So now you punch tan theta degrees, so tan, is equal to root 3 over 3 so you have here the root 3 over 3 which is equal to root 3 r over qs cross multiply this times that this times this so you have root 3 qs here which is equal to this times that 3 root 3 r then you divide by root 3 divide by root 3, this, that, this, that. So your QS is equal to your 3R. 
which is what they wanted us to show. So we've shown this, then we go to the next question. Determine, okay, now 7.2. Determine in terms of R the area of the flower garden. So they want us to find the area of this area here, the flower garden, this area here. This is what they want us to determine. So, what you need to, I need to say, to find the area of this, you need to find the area of the big circle, which is the entire area now, which you'll get the area of the entire circle. Then remove the area of the small circle. That's why, how you're going to find this part here. Because if you find the area of the whole thing, the whole shaded part plus the unshaded one, that's the area of the entire circle, of the entire circle. Then now, remove this one here. Once you remove this inner one from the big one, once you calculate the area of the big circle, then remove the area of the smaller circle, you'll be left with this rim here, which is your, your area of the garden. So you want to be left with this area here, which means now you have to calculate the area of the big circle, then remove the area of the small one. That's how you go about it. So I'm going to clean the board. Hopefully this was clear. Okay, I don't need to. I can do this on the side. You can say, okay. So the area, the square of the area of the circle is equal to pi r squared, right? the area of the circle. So now, the area of a big circle, the area of a big circle, which means you can say this is circle one and this is circle two. So the small area is circle one, the big one is circle two. So the area of circle two is called pi times r of two. And the r of two is this one here, qs, which is uh, 3R. We just found, we were given this and we just proved it. So we must find the area of QR here, of QS here. So say pi R, what is the R? R is 3R, the radius squared. So you have pi 9R squared, which is equal to uh, 9 pi. Uh, R squared. So this is the area of circle 2. Then now, uh, we must find the area of circle 1, which is the smaller circle, which is the radius of R. And that area of circle 1 is equal to pi R squared. Alright? And your R pi is pi, and your R is R. So your area is pi r squared. So this is the area of circle 2. So now, you have the area of the big circle, and you have the area of the small circle. So you want the area of this strip between the two. So to do this, you must remove this area of the small circle from the big circle so that you are left with this part only. So you will do this and say, okay, the area of the garden area of our garden will be equal to area of C2 minus area of C1. So area of circle 1, area 2 was 9 pi r squared minus pi r squared. So the area of our garden will be 9 pi r squared minus pi r squared. So it's 8 pi r squared. So this is the area of the garden. Done. Hopefully, it is clear. Go to the next question. Show that RS, what is RS? Show that RS, which is this length here, which is the, uh, the irrigation pipe, the length of the irrigation pipe, is, uh, is this length here. So let me write it down. I'm going to clean the board.
Okay, so this thing show that RS show that RS is equal to R ten minus six cos two x. So this thing must show that the length of this irrigation pipe RS is this. That's what they're asking you to do. So what we discovered, so this is how this triangle looks like. So hello, so I I did all these questions 7.3 and 7.4. And then I realized that my my camera stopped working. So I have to redo them. So let's go. So I, I recorded them the first time and they were not recorded. So I'm going to redo the question again. Okay, I'm going to do 7.3. Uh, show that Rs is equal to R times the square root of 10 minus 6 cos 2x. Show that Rs, Rs is equal to R times the square root of 10 minus 6 cos 2x. So they want us to show that Rs, which is always our Rs, this irrigation system here is equal to this, its length is equal to this. That's what they want us to show. So I had previously drawn that this triangle here is this one here, right? So we found our, we proved our QS on the first question to be 3R, which is this one here. And this is what we're looking for, right? So we are given the side included angle and the side. It's the side included angle and the side. So you are asked that uh, you would find the third side, which is the best possible scenario. So here, you use the cosine rule. So we use the cosine rule. Cosine rule. To find the value of this side here. So you know from your cosine rule, you say, okay, um, if I'm given two sides and then include an angle and I want the opposite side, so your to, to find that it's going to be your this side here, which is q squared is equal to this side here, which is s squared plus the side here, which is uh, r squared minus two s r cos two. Cos 2 q because you're looking oh cos q sorry cos q because you're looking for q there then you just substitute your things so you don't have the side so so the, you don't have the side but you know it's r s so this is your r s squared it's called your s squared which is that r squared plus your r squared your r squared is 3 r minus 2 s r your s is r R is 3R cos Q and the Q is this angle here which is 2x right so you're looking for this then the next thing you should simplify RS squared is equal to R squared RQ R squared plus 9 R squared minus 2 times 3 R squared cos x right so rs is equal to this and this this is 10 r squared minus 6 r squared cos 2x right so take the square root of this square root of that and left to it rs is equal to 10 uh, r squared common factor 10 minus 6 cos 2x and then what do we have we have square root of r squared times square root of 10 minus 6 cos 2x then we have rs is equal to r square root of 10 minus 
minus 6 cos 2s. So this is your RS. We have proved that. Not sure if I explain this well, because I'm not very hip because of the video that I lost. So I hope it's clear. Let's go to the next one, 7.4. If R is 10 meters, right, and your, your X is called 56 degrees, which is, your L is 56 degrees, fine, calculate RS, so they want you to find the absolute value of RS, which is this, so you know your R there is 10, square root, 10 minus 6 cos, 2 times x, which is 56. When you punch it in the calculator, you find that your rs is equal to 35 meters. This is it. Very unhappy with the video that I lost. I think it was better than this one. There's no energy here. So, I'm done.